In a power distribution circuit, proper selection of protection system helps to maintain safe and economical function of electrical installation and can reduce losses that are associated with unwanted service interruptions. This video explains how to read the selective coordination tables found in the technical data 140G TD050 Molded Case Circuit Breaker Selectivity Guide. The selectivity guide assists the designer of a power system in choosing an Allen Bradley Molded Case Circuit Breaker MCCB or Miniature Circuit Breaker MCB for proper coordination in main, line or upstream circuits and branch, load or downstream circuits. Each table in the publication combines two circuit breakers with the MCCB at the line side of the circuit and the MCB at the load side. When a short circuit fault occurs at the load side, both breakers will see the same current fault. Without selective coordination, the main and branch circuits will both trip. The selectivity table provides pairs of circuit breakers that fall in two categories, total selectivity and partial selectivity. As per IEC, total selectivity is defined as overcurrent selectivity where in the presence of two protection devices against overcurrent in series, the load side protection device carries out the protection without making the OZ device trip. Let's look at an example from our selectivity tables. This table has a 140G iframe molded case circuit breaker on the line side and a 188J miniature circuit breaker on the load side. According to the definition for total selectivity, the miniature circuit breaker will open without making the molded case circuit breaker trip. Assuming that our line side is around 415 and a current rating of 1 100 amp for the 140G and 10 amp current rating for the 188J breaker, we can determine that we have total selectivity guaranteed for all circuit current values up to the ultimate breaking capacity between the two breakers, in this case 10 kiloamps. What happens when total selectivity is not an option? In that case, we look at partial selectivity, which is defined per IEC 6947-1 as overcurrent selectivity where, in the presence of two protection devices against overcurrent in series, the load side protection device carries out the protection up to a given level of overcurrent without making the other device trip. Let's look at our table again, and this time, Let's assume the load side is at 13 amps for the 188J breaker and still at 100 amps for the 140G breaker. We have partial selectivity since our selectivity value is 7.5 kiloamps between the two circuit breakers. This means that if the maximum prospective short circuit current on the load side of the 188J load breaker is more than 7.5 kiloamps, it will not be possible to ensure selective coordination or that both circuit will not trip. To summarize, it is best practice to use selective coordination to maintain safe and economical function of electrical installations and reduce losses that are associated with unwanted service interruptions. In an electrical system with selective coordination of protective devices, the fault is isolated and cleared by the nearest upstream breaker while the rest of the system stays operational. Typical applications that require selective coordination could include emergency systems and standby backup and critical manufacturing processes. Rockwell Automation provides technical guidance with the publication 140G TD050 Circuit Breaker Selectivity Guide. For more information, you can visit the circuit and load protection page on ab.rockwellautomation.com.